Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the whole demo of a secure Azure code based on the cloud storage system with secure data forwarding. In this, the cloud environment having the cloud storage system that is consisting of a collection of storage servers that it provides the long term storage services over via the internet. And then it is mainly a theme to propose the data confidentiality purpose. It products the general encryption scheme for this purpose. But, but there is uh, some limitations for the storing systems. First of all, we are constructing the secure storage system that supports the multiple functioning in the challenging when the storage system is distributed and it has no central authority is the main thing. In this paper, we are implementing the two implement main methodologies as our proposals. One is threshold proxy re-encryption scheme and another one is decentralized eraser code that it integrates the formulated operations over the secure and robust data storage. And then the user can forward the data from the cloud storage. It can retrieving the data back from the storage sectors. The main technical contribution supports to the proxy re-encryption scheme. The proxy re-encryption scheme supports to the encoding operations over the encrypted messages uh, as well as for the forwarding operations. Over the encrypting, encoding and then forwarding is a fully integrated methods of functioning with the threshold proxy re-encryption process. Just we have analyzed the suitable parameters for the storage sectors that representing the one is storage servers and another one is key server. Here it is very flexible and between the adjustment of the robustness secure storage data of a sectors. Now we are going to see about the project flow here we are taking the text files as a process it's our input in the text file first of all we have to implement the encryption process the encryption processes depends on the cryptographic methodologies after the encryption the process can be splitted this the splitter files can be re-encrypted based on the threshold proxy re-encryption scheme the re-encryption process after that the files are forwarded to the cloud storage in the cloud storage they have a multiple vms we have a finite fields of vms in there and we have stored the files in vms depends on the decentralized eraser code and then the storage sector can be completed depends on the decentralized eraser code section after that data forwarding data forwarding represents the retrieval of the file the user can request the file it can be forwarded from the cloud server the targeted user depends on the data owner and then the final evaluation of the whole project it's a assessment now we are going to see the project flow to store the file in a cloud storage for in this section we have two sections in this demo one is storage section and one another one is retrieval part the, click the storage choose your message files for encryption I choose my file in the name of file split txt open click next here I give a new file name for my chosen file I give data as a new file name ok click encrypt my file is encrypted successfully my input file name is file split txt and then encrypted file name is data txt by using the secret key of this click next to proceed after the encryption the file can be splitted click the split and then I I give a input how many splitted parts my file can be splitted I give three and okay my files can be splitted successfully and then I choose next after the process can be splitted the threshold proxy re-encryption schema implemented I my splitted files are re-encrypted here in the name of one by one I can encrypt my in files the three those three splitted three files are re-encrypted and then I proceed 
here the files are re-encrypted files are listed I need to separate the files for separate VMs I choose data0 and data2.txt for VMs1 server and then I choose the data1.txt as the for VM2 server and then proceed after the folder files can be separated for sub multiple VMs I can convert into those files in zip the first fi two files are zipped for first VM and then single file can be zipped for second VM okay check whether the server is on or not and then uh, storage section is proceeded click next and then here first we need to check the server is on or not here we need to send the files to separate VMs first of all we need to check whether our server is on or not uh, the sec second server storage is on I click receive in the second storage after that only the file can be received in this here and then click the storage server 1 click received here also and then we go to the client here is the local host I send my VM1 file first my files are securely storage to the cloud storage server 1 ok and then VM2 I send my files to the second storage server my server is successfully connected and then click OK and then my storage section is finished here after I finish my whole storage process in at here and then I click next here a uh, final storage section is proceeded after that if the user needs a data back for the data forwarding process we choose retrieval ok now we are presenting the retrieval process it's a second part of our demo we need to choose a file in a server and then in multiple servers and then retrieve back from that servers click the retrieval to retrieve our file we know our name new name as data.txt we give a new file name so we need to send your file name to the ser both servers and then first check uh, check whether the file name was sendered or not we store the file in the name of data ok so that we uh, give a name of data and then first of all we need to check uh, both servers are ready to receive a file name first of all I need to ch I check my server to click receive file name and then I check my second server first server receive file name they both servers are ready to receive my file name and then I go to my local host and send my file name if the file name send means I, I check my v both servers if the file names are received or not the second server can receive my file name in as data and then first server as well receive my data file name ok and then after that they both servers are searching uh, the file names and then send to the client first I click VM1 to re ready I am ready to receive the VS file from the server 1 click we need to go the first server and then send the file name. click the send the file ok the files are forwarded to the client successfully in the, the this file name is already stored in the location of this server's location and then the length of that byte with the secret key code and then they choose I choose my second VM 
as first I, I need to go to localhost and then click I am ready to receive the server file yes I and then after that I click my VM2 for I am ready to resume my file from the second server and then I choose my second server sending the file okay click sending the file the files are forwarded to the client successfully but the local IP address is specified here the which the server I need to send the client address is specified 22 and then I send my local IP address of 22 and then the data can be successfully forwarded to the local host of client and then I'm yes of course I receive my this files also okay this file also stored in this here after that I choose uh, next to mon okay here a uh, resing file in the zip format uh, we need to convert this uh, zip into extract and the files uh, first of all I receive the file name of uh, is for server 1 I need to first extract that files uh, the zip can be unzipped and then uh, it can be stored in the own location and the second server files can be also be extracted those files also can be extracted successfully and then zip size it can which it can be extracted the location is specified here and then I proceed we do the dual encryption process we do the dual decryption process also here first the first decryption process is declined and then I choose uh, my type normal plain, plain text to plain text conversion and then I save this name and the, some, uh, the three splitted files are received here and then I choose my both files in the faster de decryption process and then I proceed here we have to merging the whole splitter files uh, come which are come from the first decryption process so click the merge we are we are merging that those three files into one file in the location the files can be merged successfully okay and then click next the three files are merged successfully specified with here and then one by one they are joining so that our three merged f uh, files can be merged dialog box comes in the location of uh, file path specified here and then I choose next here the, the final decryption process is proceeded here here this is a final process of a project demo this is a final decryption process finally after the retrieving process we need to merge uh, first to decrypt and then for merging the files after the merge after merging the files can be decrypted successfully as the name of data type txt with the final decryption key of uh, this uh, and then click ok the file can be decrypted successfully we name uh, the whole process can be done by based on the security purpose and then the final encryption and decryption process depends on both depends on the cryptographic algorithm okay